Sarah Nupiar Bani Satsjikal. We are here at the rally supporting Cricket in BC and Team Canada. Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, is here. He is going to launch this exciting day and we're going to see some of the players in the clips and we're going to show you that program now. Loa Sitanu Dukhade Adziya Highlights. Cricket is booming in Canada now. Used to be European game or Indian game or South Asian game. But now US and Canada, they have also entered in this fantastic game. Let's have a big round of applause for the cricket players, cricket coaches and the, the team members. Uh, may I request all the cricket, uh, Canadian cricket team players to please come at the front row so that when we have that award ceremony, we are not finding you. May I request the Canadian cricket players, those who have played in the Canadian cricket team, Come and may uh, have take your seats in the front row, please. All right, guys, let's put our hands together for Pierre Fole. <laughs> it's a great moment for our youth. This is a great moment for all the Canadians today, as we are here to promote and support the Cricket Canada. Cricket is the fastest growing sport, as I said earlier. Kids, come over here. Somebody sit over here. Buddy, right here. Right here. Right here. All right, guys, may I request everyone to please be seated so that we can get started. We are following here to meet all of you. Thank you. May I request everybody please move to that side of the photographer because you're going to take the pictures from the front. Now may I request Pierre Paulin along with Brad Bass to come to the stage and let's have these seats here please. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this time I request our member of parliament Brad Bass to introduce and welcome Pierre Paulin. Uh, sure. You can do that. Good afternoon everyone. What a great crowd. All right. Yeah. I, I just thought before I begin, how many people came from Abbotsford Admission today? Woo! All right, not bad, not bad. Well, I am so pleased to introduce Pierre Polyev, the leader of Canada's Common Sense Conservatives. Pierre is the adopted son of two school teachers. His wife, Anna, came to Canada as a refugee. Canada made and kept them both a promise that anyone from anywhere in the world can achieve anything. That hard work pays off. Yes, here, here. That hard work pays off with powerful paychecks to buy gas, food, and affordable homes in safe neighborhoods. Unfortunately, after nine years of Justin Trudeau, that promise is broken. And Pierre's mission is to restore Canada's promise. His plan is to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. He wants to bring home the Canada we knew and the Canada we still believe in. So without further ado, please welcome the leader of Canada's Common Sense Conservatives and Canada's next Prime Minister, Pierre Polyev. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Anka, Jamal, Marjit, uh, Babri, Babjit, and uh, our caucus members, Common Sense Conservative. We have here Yona Martin, your senator on Parliament Hill. What an honor. I, I was enjoying myself out there. I think I was a bit of a hit on the, on the cricket field. We, 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 we call it a home run, but we have to learn all the real terminology, Brad. They don't call it a home run. But I think you could use the expression, bring it home, on the cricket pitch as well. Here, here. Um, because that's what we want to do, is bring home the Canada that we knew and loved. The Canada that gave me everything I have. I was born to a 16-year-old mother who was uh, not old enough to raise me. She put me up for adoption to two school teachers that taught me that in this country, anyone from anywhere could do anything. It didn't matter where you came from. It mattered where you were going. It didn't matter who you knew. It mattered what you could do. That's the country my wife came to as a refugee. It's the country we want for our kids and yours. 
But after nine years of Trudeau, it's not the Canada we have. Everything is broken, and he's not worth the cost. Everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. You make it, Trudeau takes it. Housing costs have doubled. Now it takes 28 years to save up for a down payment on a home in Vancouver. Before Trudeau, you could pay off an entire mortgage in 25 years. How is it that we've gone so bad so quickly? And then crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder is rampant in our once safe streets. After Trudeau passed catch and release and reduced criminal penalties, what do we see? Lower penalties now for extortion. So somebody can send you an extortion letter threatening to shoot a bullet through your child's window. And guess what? Because of Trudeau's law, they don't go to jail. So will that wonder why you're getting threatening letters? Because he's letting the criminals do their thing. I just We just found out today, 256 people were murdered in one year by people who were out on bail. The murderers should have been in jail, but they were released early on bail to kill somebody. Crime is therefore raging out of control. The good news is, life was not like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. Here, here. We're going to bring home the Canada that we knew and loved with a common sense plan to axe the taxes. Build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. We will axe the carbon tax and lower income tax so that you bring home more of each dollar you earn and hard work actually pays off. We will cap government spending and cut waste to bring that down the debt, the interest rates, and the inflation. We want to bring homes you can afford. Right now, it's impossible because we have the fewest homes per capita of any country in the G7, even though we have by far the most land to build on. In fact, Vancouver is the most expensive housing market in all of North America and the third most expensive in the entire world. It now takes 95% of pre-tax income for an average family to make payments on an average home. So... Even if you stop paying your income tax, stop eating, stop driving, stop buying clothing, stop doing anything else, you still wouldn't have enough money to make your monthly mortgage payment. That's how insane it is after nine years of Trudeau. But what do you think is the number one cost that goes into a new home in Vancouver? Land? Labor? Lumber? Anyone want to guess? You know what it is? The permit. It's the taxes, the fees, the delays, consultants, lawyers. That's 60% of the cost of a new home. $1.3 million of governmental costs for every new home. That's why it's so expensive to get a place to live. My common sense plan will require the cities cut the bureaucracy, speed up the permits, free up the land, and lower the development charges to permit 15% more home building per year if they want to get federal money. They will be required to, to permit high density sky rises around every federally funded transit station. We're going to get rid of the carbon tax to lower the cost of, of, of building materials. That's how we're going to build the homes. But we want those homes in safe neighborhoods. I will get rid of catch and release. I will require that every single repeat offender who's charged will be ineligible for bail, house arrest, or parole. It will be jail, not bail, jail, not bail. We will... <laughs> we will pass the bill put forward by Tim Singh Uppel, my deputy leader. Tim Uppel G has put forward a bill to restore mandatory prison time for extortion. If someone is caught extorting, they will be in jail for 10 years. They will not be able to harass your family anymore. We're also going to ban hard drugs. Trudeau and the NDP have basically decriminalized drugs. They don't charge anymore. Now, in Brad's neighborhood, they had to, they had dogs. 
that are dying of overdoses because there's so much drugs on the ground and that when they take them for a walk, they inhale the drugs and die of an overdose. Now imagine how endangered our kids are when they play in those same communities. At the soccer pitch, is it in, your, in Abbotsford? In Abbotsford they have to go out into the field and check for needles because of all the drug use that's basically been legalized. I'm going to ban the drugs, stop giving out taxpayer-funded drugs. <laughs> and we're going to instead put the money into treatment and recovery services to get people off drugs and bring them home drug-free. Finally, we're going to have the organizers to present the Cricket Canada's jersey to Pierre Poliev. Here you go. Cricket Canada! You know what I was telling earlier? This stuff. There you go. There's a demand that we need a stadium in Surrey. kind of noise and voice, it will be fulfilled, I'm very sure. All right, so now we're going to continue. Pierre Paul, you please have a seat for a second. All right, I would like to thank you to the entire media for coming and attending today's event. Let's have a big round of applause for the entire media. There are many candidates, those are uh, getting nominated for the... Conservative Party of Canada, I'm really thankful to all of you for participating today as well. And all the players for coming here in today's hot weather to be part of this event. Thank you very much. I'm also thankful to Amjit Bajwa, President of Cricket Canada, Bimal Hardal, President of Cricket BC, Harjit Sandhu, President of BC, MCL, and Arvind Khosa, the organizer. I'm also thankful to our food sponsor today, Ustaji76, with nine locations. And thank you for feeding us uh, and coming to the event. I'm also thankful to Gary Ten, who's part of cricket as well, Senator Martin. Well, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank uh, the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, Mr. Pierre. But now, you know what? Now, this is the tricky one. It's totally yeah. I figured that out. Yes. It's not Paulie here. Paulie yeah. See, there you go. So when it comes to uh, to Surrey, and I'll have everybody pronounce that, that'll be a good challenge. That's right. I don't care how you say it, as long as you know how to put an X beside it on election day. There you go. So, um, so from the from the moment I got the liberty of uh, calling you Pierre, so I'll go with that. Pierre's okay. Perfect. So first of all, uh, I would like to thank Pierre and his entire team for taking the time to coming here and appreciating the fact that cricket is definitely the fastest growing sport in Canada. There is, there's a lot of, there's a lot that uh, you said in a speech that is really promising. We have been talking about the program for Sunday. That's why today we're going to play cricket. India, the India team, has won the cricket. So it's going to be Team Canada who wins. So it's a very, very nice launch day with Pierre Polyev speaking to the crowd. Everyone's very excited. Go Canada! I'm Sonia West. Thank you for watching.